Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on connected graph and disconnected graph in graph theory. It is one of the most important definition. It is very useful in many concepts in graph theory. Okay, now we go for uh, what is a connected graph with example problem and what is the disconnected graph with example problem in the previous videos we are already discussed about the various types of graphs okay now we can go for example after that we can go for the definition okay now this is a given graph in that graph so set of vertices are there and a set of edges are there so the given graph G is equal to V comma E. V is nothing but set of vertices that are A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. And E is nothing but set of edges A comma B, B comma C, C comma D, A comma D, A comma I, C comma E, E comma F, F comma G. G comma J, G comma H and E comma H and F comma G and I comma J. So these are the set of edges. Now this graph G is said to be connected graph. We can take any pair of vertices from the given graph. That pair of vertices are connected by using a path. Okay. So then that type of graph is called as connected graph. Okay. For example, we can take the pair of vertices I A comma G. Okay. A comma G. A is nothing but source vertex in the path and G is nothing but end vertex in the path. We are taking the pair of vertices A comma G. Okay. So A comma G are connected by using a path. Okay. That is A to I, I to J, J to G. Okay. These pair of vertices in the given graph G are connected by using a path. Path is nothing but set of edges. So A to I, I to J, J to G. Okay. Next, I am taking another pair of vertices A comma F. So, here A to B, B to C, C to E, E to F. Okay. Now, I am taking another pair A comma H. A is the source vertex in the path. H is the destination vertex in the path. Okay. Now I am taking the path A, D, C, E, H. Okay. So I am taking another path G comma D. So G is the source vertex in the path and D is the destination vertex in the path. Okay. So G F, E, C, B, A, D. Okay. So there are so many paths are there from source vertex to destination vertex. Okay. So now we can go for the definition. A graph is said to be connected graph. Okay. If there exists a path or are at least one edge between every pair of vertices in the given graph. So we can take any pair of vertices. That pair of vertices are connected by using a path or connected by using a at least one edge. At least means at least one edge, one edge means minimum one edge and maximum more than one edge. So at least one edge connected by using 
two vertices in the given graph so that type of graph is called as connected graph so we can take any pair of vertices from the given graph that pair of vertices are connected by using a path so that type of graph is called as connected graph okay now now we can go for a disconnected graph a graph g is said to be disconnected graph if it do not contain any path between every pair of vertices so we can take any pair of vertices that pair of vertices are not connected by using path any path so that type of graph is called as disconnected graph for example so this is the disconnected graph so this graph can be uh, divided into two separate independent components this is one component and this is one component it is not possible to travel from uh, one vertex from this component to another vertex in this component because the graph is a disconnected graph suppose we want to go from a to h okay so a to d we are going from d to h there is no path between them so at that time we can say that a graph g is said to be disconnected graph because we can take any pair of vertices there is no path exist between that pair of vertices so that type of graph is called as disconnected graph suppose we want to go from b to g okay we are starting from b b to c c to d but there is no path between d and g so that type of graph is called as disconnected graph whereas in the case of connected graph we can take any pair of vertices that pair of vertices are connected by using at least one path more than one path is exist okay so that pair of vertices are connected by using at least one path that type of graph is called as connected graph for example we are starting we are taking the pair of vertices a comma g so i am taking uh, this path a to i i to j j to g so we are also taking another path a to d d to c c to e e to f f to g i am taking one more path a to b b to c c to e e to h h to g okay so we are taking any pair of vertices that pair of vertices are connected by using at least one path between that vertices in the given graph okay so more than one path is available between that pair of vertices in the given graph okay so because of that reason i am telling that any pair of vertices are connected by using at least one path between that pair of vertices so then that type of graph is called as connected graph okay so i am taking one more path a comma g a comma g is uh, a to b b to c c to e e to f f to g so we are starting from a and going to vertex g so this is one path and this is a another path more than one path exist between the pair of vertices in the given graph so that type of graph is also called as connected graph so this is the example for connected graph and this is the example for disconnected graph so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share this video to your friends and classmates If you like this video please subscribe my channel name Dipala Srinivasarao and share this video to your friends and classmates thank you